within me. Hope and help my countenance and my God. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in a time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, through the mountains be carried into the sea. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Have you not known, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the creator, the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. He is understanding, his understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings with eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Fear not, for I am with you, and be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will hold you up with my righteous right hand. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine, and when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. The Lord is good and a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows those who trust in him. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. And Jesus said unto him, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. Let not your heart be troubled. You may believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you so. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And where you go, know, and you know the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. And how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No, far, no man comes to the Father except through me. Peace I leave with you. Peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. These things I have spoken to you, that in peace, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers nor things present, nor things to come, nor height nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall we be brought then shall it be brought to pass, saying that it is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ. 
Blessed be God, the Father of all our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy and, of, and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation. For we know that if this earthly house is a tent, it is destroyed. We have a building from God, a house that's not made by his hands, eternal in the heavens. So we are not always confident. We are always confident knowing that, wow, we are at home in the body. We are absent from the Lord. We are confident, yes, we are well pleased rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. My grace is sufficient to you and my, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. For me to live, for me to live is Christ. And to die is gain. But if I live on in the flesh, this will mean fruit from my labor. Yet I will choose, I cannot tell, for I'm hard pressed between the two, having the desire to part, depart and be with Christ, which is far better. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we are eagerly awaiting the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body, that it may be conformed to, the holy, to his glorious body, according to his working by which he is able to subdue all things to himself. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brethren, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, even so God will bring him, will bring with him those who have fallen asleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice from the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then those who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds and meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also though all those who love his appearing. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Blessed be the God of the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to the inherent, the incorruptible and undefiled and all that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if you need be, you have been grieved by various trials and the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold. Though it is tested by fire, may be found a praise, honor, and glory at all the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom, having not seen your love, though now you do not see him yet believing, rejoicing with the inexpressible and full glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, he shall, we shall be like him, but we shall see him as he is. Then one of the elders answered and said to me, Who are these arrayed in the white robes, and where did they come from? And he said to me, Sir, you know. So he said to me, These are those who come out of great trials and tribulations. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. 
and he who sits on the throne will, th will dwell among them. They shall neither hunger no more or thirst anymore, and the sun shall not strike them, nor any heat for the lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to the living foundations of water, and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Right and blessed to be the dead of the Lord. From now on, yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works will follow them. The everlasting God is your refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. For I know my Redeemer lives. And after my skin is destroyed, this I know that my flesh shall see God. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cups run of over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him. The help of my countenance and my God. God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help in the time of trouble. Therefore we will not fear. Even though the earth be moved and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. He who dwells in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faint nor is weary. He is understanding, is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak, and those who have no might, he increases strength. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And though the rivers, they shall not overflow. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. Nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows those who trust within him. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. And Jesus said unto him, to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me. Though he may die, he shall live again. Let not your heart be troubled. 
you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. That where I be, you may be also. I will come again and receive you to myself. And where I go, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. And how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Peace I leave to you. May peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. These things I have spoken. That in me you have peace. In the world you have great tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass, saying, It is written, Death is swallowed up in, in victory. O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort, who comforts us all in our tribulation. For we know that if this earthly house, this tent is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. So we are always confident knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. We are confident, yes, we are pleased rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. My grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. For me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. But if I live on in the flesh, this means the fruit from my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I cannot tell. For I am hard pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly await for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform my body lowly, and that it may be conformed to his glorious body, according to the working by which he is able to even subdue all things to himself. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brethren, about those who sleep, that you may not grieve as the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring him, those who have fallen asleep in Jesus. For this way, for this we say to you, by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. And those who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus... We shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. 
I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. And finally, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness what the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but to all of those who love his appearing. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Blessed be God. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled. And that does not fade away. Reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if you need be. You have been grieved by various trials and the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes. Though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Whom having not seen, you love. Though now you do not see him, yet believing, you believing your res rejoice with the inexpressible and full glory receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your soul. Beloved, we are now children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we shall, re but we shall know that when it's revealed, what we, shall, we shall be like him, but we shall see him as he is. Then one of the elders answered and said to me, who are these in white robes? Who are these arrayed in white robes? And where did they come from? And I said to him, sir, you know. So he said to me, these are those who come out of the great tribulation and wash their blood, their robes in the blood of the lamb. Therefore, before the throne of God, and they serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits in the throne will dwell among them, and they shall neither hunger anymore or thirst anymore. The sun shall not strike them, nor any heat. For the lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to the living fountains of water. And God will wipe every tear from their eyes. I heard a voice from heaven saying, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. From now on, yes, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and from their and their works will follow them. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
even though our hearts are heavy, God is still a God that deserves the praise. I just need every believer in this house. If you serve a risen Savior, if you know that God will, is the one that will comfort and dry all your tears, somebody need to praise him in the midst of their storm. I said somebody need to praise him in the midst of their tears. I believe I got somebody that can praise him in the midst of the pain. I've been crying, I've been hurt, I ain't been sleeping, I ain't been eating, but God is still the very same God. I believe I read it somewhere, he says he's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And because I know my Redeemer lives, I will lift mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. And all of my help comes from the Lord. Let every redeemed, blood washed, believing in this place, open up your mouth and begin to give God a praise. Give God a hallelujah. God, I'm hurt. God, I'm crying. God, I don't understand, but I still trust you. I don't know who owns tomorrow, but I know you are in my tomorrow. Open up your mouth and give God a praise. I wish I had some believers in here. I wish I had some praisers in here. I wish I had some worshipers in here. I wish I had somebody who said, I will lift up my voice. I will lift up my voice. Come on and praise them. 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 Praise them while you're crying. Praise them while you're asking questions. Praise them while you're worrying. Come on and praise them. Praise is required. Lift them. Everybody in here is feeling of hurt and of pain, but everybody knows that God is still the very God. Lift him up higher. Come on and higher. Come on, lift him up higher. Higher, the God of the universe. Come on. He is my wonderful counselor. He is my everlasting God. He is my prince of peace. He is my wheel in the middle of the wheel. He is my burden bearer. He is my Sharon O'Sara. Thanks be to God who always and even in this, we still have the victory. Where the victorious people at? Where the victorious people at? I need somebody who know that I still got the victory. Victory over the... Come on and praise them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will follow. We will follow the order of service as printed, with one um, exception. After the reflections, there will be a video presentation. So we will have the Old Testament scripture, the New Testament scripture, prayer, and then a song selection. Please follow as as printed. Testament comes from Isaiah 49. Hmm. Sing, O heaven, be joyful, O earth. And break out and sing in old mountains. For the Lord has comforted his people. And he will have mercy on his afflicted. But Zion said, the, the Lord has forsaken me. And my Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child? And not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget. Yet I will not forget you. Amen. Romans 8, starting with verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril of the sword? Yet, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who love us. 
for I'm still persuaded that neither death nor life, no angels, no principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from a love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and doers of his word. Let us pray. God, our Father, our Creator, who created us with a plan and a purpose, who created us and brought us into this world not to stay, but God, you gave us purpose. And we thank you, O oh Lord, that you gave LaMarcus purpose to love and to be loved, to bring joy to all who knew him. And so, God, we bless you now in this place for the time that you have given us with him. And we thank you, O oh God, that even though he is no longer with us, God, he is with you. <laughs> and, God, we bless you, God. For, Lord, we, we wait to be where he is, to see you, God, like he sees you face to face. And so, God, we bless you in this place for the life that you have given and the life you have called home. God, we thank you. And, Lord, may we be confident with these words that, God, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And, God, we thank you now that those who sleep in Jesus, when Jesus returns, he will rise first. <laughs> and we who are alive and remain will be caught up together in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, where we shall remain with the Lord forever. So, God, until that time, we pray now in the name of Jesus that the family, that his mother, that his father, that his siblings, that his grandparents, that we, oh God, hold on to your unchanging hand. That we, oh God, hold on, God, and know, God, that soon and very soon we will be where he is. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that we will hold on to our confession of faith, God, without wavering, knowing, God, that you are God who promised and you will return. We pray now, God, in the name of Jesus, uh, let the glory of the Lord rise among us, O oh Lord. Uh, we pray now, God, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Uh, and God, we lift you up and we magnify you because we know that you are God, our Father. You are God, our shepherd. And Lord, hold us in your hand, God. Comfort, strengthen, O oh God, provide, keep, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let your peace, O oh God, abide with us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God, we lift you up in this place because you are worthy hallelujah God you are worthy oh God you are worthy God and we bless you in Jesus name amen despair. Remember God cares. God cares for you. And when you're in doubt and you can't find your way, he will see you through. Precious is the name of Jesus. 
Jesus, 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 my joy and sorrow, my hope for tomorrow, my peace in the midst of the storm, my peace in the midst of the storm, Jesus, my way out, Jesus, my way over, Jesus, my way through, Jesus, my way under, Jesus, 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 hey, Jesus, can't nobody do your life, can't nobody hold me like Jesus, 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 my joy and sorrow, my hope for tomorrow, my peace in the midst of the storm, my peace in the midst of the storm, Jesus, 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 help me, call him, help me, call him, Jesus, 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 my doctor in a sick room, my lawyer in a courtroom, Jesus, 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 demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Demons tremble at the name, at the name. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Put your hands together. Amen. There's something about the name of Jesus. Now we will have reflection. Uh, we ask that anyone who has reflections, please come up and just come to my right. Anyone who has reflections. We ask that you just keep it to two minutes. that drove down uh, that came is he here huh come come join us sir please I want him as soon as they finish to have words of comfort
Marcus was, <laughs> as many people may not know, he was super goofy. Everybody think he's so chill and laid back, but if you really know Marcus, he was so goofy. He played too much, talked too much. Like He was not what people on the outside world think he really is. Seemed like it was supposed to happen. Like we was all just together, chilling. Not even chilling after our other friend funeral. I don't, I just, Amen. Come on, y'all. I met Destiny for the first time, and I know after her talk with me that they were close friends. First, giving honor to God, to the bishop, to the pastors. Um, to the pastor that came all the way from Mississippi, um, to the evangelists, to everyone in the house, greetings, to the musicians. I just came in today and um, I see that my brother and the musicians are, my brother is one of the musicians, well all three of them are my brothers, so that was a surprise. I met LaMarcus at Columbia High School. He, uh, he introduced himself as the grandson of Coach Blandy. He was the, he was, <laughs> this kid, this kid was honorable, this kid had well manners. He didn't shuck and jive. He didn't do any of that. He was a well-rounded kid. We used to sit up, me, him, and my son, we would sit up and talk. He told me that he was from Detroit. And I said, Detroit ain't nothing, man. We from Chicago. We don't care about Detroit. And he, he, would, he would defend Detroit. And Detroit was this and Detroit was that. And we would go back and forth on which city was better, Detroit or Chicago? I have no love for neither one of those cities. <laughs> LaMarcus, to the family, to the mother, to the father, to the sisters, to the brothers, to the grand grandparents, to everybody, the cousins and everything, to everybody in this house. This is unacceptable. It is unacceptable that this day and age, we, have, we, we accept that we are burying our son. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. I'll never, I'll never accept this. This young man had his full life ahead of him, and we're sitting here today thanking God, and I thank God, I promise you I do, but I do question it. I'm angry. Every young man in this room right now, if you can stand up, stand up. Every young man in this room, if you can stand up, stand up right now. It is unacceptable for us to bury you guys. You guys have purpose. You guys mean something to us. 
Y'all mean something to us. I'm telling you, man, we are not supposed to bury you guys. You guys are supposed to bury us. Hold on to your parents. Love your parents. Listen to your parents. Trust me, you've never been 40 before. We have been 18, 19, and 20. We've been there, I'm telling you. You think the game done changed, it didn't. Just the faces. The game don't change, just the faces. You guys can sit down now. To the fathers, man, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, I don't know what we gotta do. I, I'm, we gotta do something though, because this is unacceptable. Man, Coach Blandon and family, I love you guys. And if there's anything that you guys ever need from me or my family, we are only a phone call away. I love you all. Cover my face now. That's what I look like. I can't believe you, LP. If everybody don't know, we call him LP, but I be calling him LPC. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Lamarcus is silly. He got a smart mouth too. I thought LaMarcus was laid back because I start <laughs> spending night at his house every day. Yeah, I'm his cousin. <laughs> Blood cousin, by the way, too. <laughs> every time his mom used to go out of town, she like, make sure you make make sure you feed my baby. And I don't even cook. <laughs> One day it was me, him, and Chris in the house. We like, it's time to clean up. And Mark is like, all right, run the dishwater. I'm thinking he about to clean up. He went to go sit in his room. He like, y'all about to clean up. <laughs> we cleaned up. I cooked some pork chops, some macaroni, and some mashed potatoes. But it was the, uh, the box macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> so then when I, when I finished it, Chris put it in a pan. He put the square cheese on. I'm like, uh-uh, Chris, we ain't about to do that. But it was good, though. <laughs> I ain't never got in front of it. It's a lot of y'all. I ain't going to lie. I ain't never got in front of everybody and talked at no funeral. But I had to come say something. I was at the house like, I got to practice what I'm about to say in front of everybody. I can't believe you, real peasy. I'm trying to see if I got something else to say. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, let me, Lamarcus, he don't never want to hold Jackie baby. <laughs> so I'm, she kept crying, my Lamarcus hold her real quick. She crying, about to make her a bottle. He like, all right, I made the bottle. I'm like, you got to feed her. You, you might have yours one day. He like, no, I'm not. I'm like, you got to practice. I left him in the house with the baby. I went downstairs. He went, oh, come get y'all peoples. <laughs> <laughs> that, boy, that boy crazy. I could tell a million stories right now. All right, y'all, I'm done. Hello, I'm Dianca Cousin, LaMarcus Cousin. Uh, I just wanted to get up here and say, Dianca, I love you. Rest in peace to your son. Marcus, rest in peace. And uh, God bless y'all.
Dang, Lamarcus had a lot of loved ones. There's a <laughs> lot of y'all here. <sighs> Lamarcus. <laughs> Lamarcus was just, he was so nice. He was, <laughs> I remember I would come home from dance on the school day and he would come home with a different pair of shoes every day. <laughs> and he was very overprotective. I remember um, one time it was a school day and I had to get my homework out of the car, but it was like dark outside. And he was like, no, Lick, let me go get it. It's um, dark outside. I was like, okay. so much. <sighs> and I know that he loved every single one of us in this room. my school they had basketball tryouts and I wanted to be like Lamarcus and my man so I um, tried out and I made it and I was texting Lamarcus and I was like guess what position I play in basketball and he was like what and I said um, point guard and he was like that's fire <laughs> I was like Y'all gonna have to forgive me, excuse me. I want the brothers to come up and we're gonna have to cut it off right there. I know you have some things you wanna say, but there's a time limit on getting to the graveyard. So would the brothers please come up? And next week when Gonka's by herself and nobody's around, call her. When I first moved to Huntsville, uh, man, he was my first friend, man. Mari's house, he was the first house I went over when I got here. <sighs> Mark's a fool, you man. He ain't, what you see on social media, that's not really who he is. I promise, like, <laughs> he, the, he the coolest dude you'll ever meet. We'll go, we'll go to the park, he trying to put on some jeans and some forces, like. <laughs> He was so cool, man. There's so much love for him. Like just everybody being here really mean a lot to see y'all here. Cause I I know he 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 loved it. Just was with this man. Um, it didn't make no sense. Like when they told me, I'm like, nah, this can't be true. It didn't make no sense at all. Dang. I wish, dang, I wish you would have stayed out here, bro. I 
on him coming down here using every lingo he learned up there in one sentence. Like, I don't know what you saying, bro. Sorry, I don't know what you saying, bro. I don't know what you saying. So, that's thrust. I don't know what that is, bro. Don't know what that is. Nah, I can tell so many stories about this man, bro. And then everybody over there, all them guys, all these guys right here, just us being at the house together, you know, doing little, little kids stuff, playing high go seek in the dark and stuff, like all those times, like, it just come back, just, oh. Mm, bro, he said, look at you, bro. He only makes sense, uh. Uh, I love everybody who out here who came and loved him. Bianca, I love you and everybody over here. Yeah, I know. I ain't got nothing to say, man. I love that, man. So. My baby G. <laughs> See, one thing about LaMarcus, see, look, Marcus was special. He was a trendsetter. Like, I remember when he came back from the D, <laughs> Marcus was a whole different person. <laughs> I said, I said, what's that? He come back, he tell me, he said, y'all tripping, y'all on that rim. I said, rim? <laughs> that me. <laughs> he said, man, y'all on that rim. I said, oh, man. I remember one day, like, we was little kids. We was hooping outside at, at May House. It was like, man, it May, he be so tough. I said, man, that's tough love. I mean, like, that's just tough love, man. I wish I had that, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had a whole, like, I love that for him, man. I miss my guy, man. I was just with him not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. It hit me different. It just hit me real different. I love you, my guy. I love you, M.A. Love all the family. I ain't had nothing prepared, like, beside you. Uh, this, this, this is, I only got two people that I consider my best friends. That's him and that's him. I lost my best friend, bro. Last time he was here, I drove him around for the first time. He was like, bro, he called his cousin. He was like, bro, guess who driving me around, bro? <laughs> Ain't no way he driving now. That's yeah. I love you forever, bro. When we was little, we used to be, we went to uh, Boys and Girls Club, we was known as the Goon Squad. <laughs> and that's all I can, that's all I can think about, bro, the Goon Squad. I don't got much else to say. Uh, I love you, Lamar. I ain't gonna lie. This is so crazy to me right now. I feel like a dream. When Lamarcus first came down here, and he um he pulled up on me. First thing I said was he tried to give me dab. I said, man, bro, I ain't seen you in like four, five years. Give me a hug. He started laughing. He was like, man, come here. We sat in the car. He was chilling with me all day. I was showing him some music. We talked about three, four hours, all the way to about three o'clock in the morning. This was a couple weeks ago. I told him, I said, I said, look, bro, you need to come back down here. You feel me? Because we got the city on lock. You're going to be straight. We, you know? He was like, man, he was like, I ain't going to lie. I plan on coming back down here. But he was like, I love the D2. You feel me? So I was like, Come back down here, feel me? 
we gonna go to the club, we gonna turn up, woo -doo -doo -doo. He was like, he was like, man, I ain't even to be in no club with y'all, bro. I said, yeah, I'm gonna drag you out the house, man. It ain't lying. But <sighs> hit different, bro. Hit different, man. I love you, baby boy. You are all I'm always until I die. Your name gonna forever live on. I love all the family and everybody that came out too. Now we will have words of comfort.
Praise God is still good. Can you jump to your feet, clap your hands, and let's thank God for not only this young man's life, but let's thank God for allowing us to be alive at the same time that he was. On a moment like this, as you take your seat, the words of the master in John chapter 15 become relevant and real. When Jesus said to his disciples, I no longer call you my disciples, but I call you my friends. Jesus had a friend that was so close to him. He was a relative of Jesus by the name of John the Baptist. And he was so much a friend that he was not only the one who baptized Jesus at the Jordan, he was not only the one who witnessed the Spirit of God descend from heaven like a dove and rest on the shoulder of Jesus. He was not just so close to Jesus that he was able to hear God declare that this is, in fact, my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. But John the Baptist was also the one that declared that Jesus Christ was, in fact, the son of the living God. And that's why so many of us have gathered today from near and far. My wife, Angela, wave your hand, Angela, Janelle, and uh, Bianca, and Tanisha, wave your hand. That's why we drove so far from Michigan to be here, because, Bianca, you are, in fact, our friend. Lyric is a member of our family. And we had to be here on a day like today uh, to not only let you know and remind you that we love you, but to let everybody know in Alabama we got them in Michigan. Amen. We're going to keep our arms wrapped around them. We're going to love them uh, uh, like a love that compares in only the way we can to the amazing love that you and Bishop Boone and all of this, these preachers have given you, um, but also to make sure that we stay close as well. As I go to my seat, uh, I'm reminded of words that encourage me so often. My father, 26 years old, my brother, 24, my aunt, 18, another brother at 24, all transition from this life in similar ways. But it's always the words of Dwight L. Moody, who was an evangelist and Christian contributor to Christian publications that I think about. He said before he transitioned, he said it this way. He says, tomorrow you will hear that I have died. He says, but do not believe them because tomorrow I will be more alive than I've ever been before. He said, that which is born of flesh, we all will get out of here. We don't know how, we don't know when. But that which is born of spirit will live on forever. The memories, the words spoken, the scent in the house, the things that people share, the memories that you have, dad and others, those are the things that will keep you going. This ain't something that you'll ever get over. But in God's time, he'll give you the strength, he'll give you the grace, he'll give you the joy that you need to keep living despite the pain that you feel, pain that will no, never totally disappear. And so just wanted to come and, and share those words with all of you just to let you know we love you, Lyric, we got you, Dad, we got Lyric, we got Dianca, and God, more important than us having you, God's got you, not just today, but in the days to come. God bless you. In all things, through my sickness, through my hurt, and my joy, and my sorrow, my worship is still for real. The song says like this right here. It says, you don't know my story. All the things that I've been through. 
You can't feel my pain. What I had to go through to get here. You'll never understand my praise. So don't try to figure it out. Because my worship, my worship is for real. Oh, my worship, my worship is for real. Say you don't know, you don't know my story. All the things that I, all the things that I've been through. You can't feel my pain. What I had, what I had to go through to get here. You'll never understand my praise. Don't try to figure it out. Because my worship is. My worship. Yes, it is. My worship is for real. Oh, my worship is. Because my worship. My worship is, my worship is, real. is real. Somebody lift your voice and say, I've been through too much. I've been through too much. But I gotta worship him. Now. But I must worship him. Worship him. Say, I've been, too much. I've been through too much. I can't tell it all. Now. But I must I worship, worship him. him. Say, mind all across the building just lift your hands right here and say hallelujah. hallelujah say hallelujah, hallelujah. My, worship my worship is real say hallelujah, hallelujah. say hallelujah. hallelujah my worship is real, worship is real. say lord you're worthy, lord, you're worthy. say lord you're worthy
Come on, church. My worship is for real. I might not always look like it, but my worship is for real. God has been so good to us. We give honor to God, the maker and the creator of all things. We are, I'm just going to be honest with you, this is one of the hardest days of my life. To be honest with you. Giving honor to God and who is the head of my life and to all the ministers and the elders and all the choir members and all of the family. I want to say two things. Two things. And I want to look him in the eye and tell him. For Marcus, Arnold, my nephew, you have done more for the black male race than a lot of people. You will always be honored as a father that loves not only his seed, but all seed. Don't think I haven't been watching. Don't think I ain't been keeping my eye. Because I love my boys and my girls. You've done great. You've done great. Just keep it up. We can't stop now. We can't. Second thing is, Bianca came to us, my family. She was hurt, in pain. And I looked at her and I said, come on, come on. And she's been my daughter ever since. I always go back in my Facebook pages when you came to hospital and I was sitting in the car and I had been down and you got this, this is the person I've been looking for, baby, you don't know how glad I was to see you. Thank God for you and your family. To all of Huntsville and Detroit, we have to learn in this day how to be sad but also how to be glad. The pain is great. When I got the news, I fell to my knees because I don't care how much a bishop, a pastor, I don't care how much a preacher, I don't care how much you study, I don't care how much you teach, I don't care how much you speak in tongue, I don't care how much you run around the church, there are some things that will shake the ground that you walk on. And that's called being human. But I'm also like Peter. When he was sinking in the water, I looked toward heaven and said, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. I can't do it. I can't get through it unless you walk with me. I, I, the dance teacher, where is she? I've heard so many wonderful things about you. I have a special prayer of good health and prosperity over your life. You have watched over our daughter and this great pastor. We finna start a fellowship. Amen. We finna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna go back and forth. I, I ain't scared of Detroit. I've been there. I've been on what word, was it Word Street, Ward Street? Yeah. I used to go to um, Pastor Holly's church. He used to come here and preach revivals. So I mean, and I had kinfolk up there. God bless them. Amen. I ain't saying nothing about them because I don't know what they've been doing. Amen. Not going to have a word from heaven for you and your family. It ain't going to take but a second. I, I, I hope I didn't offend anybody, but 
in Alabama, when the escort leaves, we're in trouble. <sighs> Mark 7 and 37. And were beyond measure astonished, saying, He have done all things well. He maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. And I want to talk to you today to let you know that even in this tragedy, even in this that has happened, God still does all things well. He makes no mistakes. He's the God, the only God. And we gather here to honor the memory of Lamarcus. We have to do that because we love him. In these sad moments, we are left feeling lost and devastated. We have so many questions, but the biggest one is, and, and I guarantee you, 9% of the ones that are here has said this, why? 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 And I'm here to tell you, there's no psychiatrist, no therapist can answer that question for you. Actually, there's no preacher can answer that question for you. You got to understand that. There was a hymn by Ann Waring, and in that hymn, she says it in the last stanza. I know the way he talking, he's taking me. I know the way he's taking me, and I will walk with him. Old folk just said, Jesus, walk with me. In these times, walk with me. Now that this has happened, I need Jesus more than I ever needed him. And in these times, the uncle will find out, Lyric will find out, Marcus will find out, all of you will find out, Destiny, you will find out that you are stronger than what you think you are. Because he that dwelleth in you is greater than he that is in the world. And God is not going to leave you alone. He's going to stick with you. He knows the way. I didn't know this was going to happen. You didn't know this was going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen before today. Or we, we don't know what's going to happen if, when tomorrow comes. We don't know. But we know that he knows. He knows yesterday. He knows today. And he knows tomorrow. So why not walk with the one that has brought me thus far? Oh, come on, church. He has brought me through all of my trials and tribulations, all of my ups and downs, all of my tears I have cried. He is still walking with me. God never fails, and he never stops. So I say to you, he does all things well. Although it don't seem right, it don't seem right. You can't make it right. You can't make it fit right because you are not God. But God does all things well. What have we not done? We need more Marcuses and more black men that are willing to help our brothers come up in this world that has already turned their back on us. All right, all right. I don't mind saying that. It ain't everybody, but they have turned their backs on us. They don't think of us the way they should. We are human beings. We do not have the right to be killed. We do not have the right to be locked up every time we move or every time we go somewhere. Everybody ain't bad. That's right. That's right. That's right. Say that. And you just, if you're going to look at some of their mistakes, you better get in the mirror and look at some of your mistakes. Because this is the only time he's perfect. Baby, he perfect now. He perfect now. So God looked in your garden and perfected your seed. That's what he did. He, he said, she's going to be all right. 
I'm going to stay with them, but I'm going to go in this garden, Marcus, and, and I'm going to see y'all have been working on. I don't, I, I'm going to perfect it now. Why you want to perfect it now? He's only 19. Because, see, we don't know what he would have had to face if he stayed here. There are some worse things than death. Y'all better hear me. But when you, when I, I, I christened him as a child and I baptized him, I know for a fact that God had something good for him. And he said, Lamarcus, this is enough. I'm not going to let you suffer no more. I'm not going to let you go through no more. I'm not going to let you make any more mistakes. I'm going to perfect you right now. So in Detroit, on that Saturday at 2 o'clock, the angel said, let's go. And I want you to know something. The deaf angel is not the one that always come get you. Oh, y'all don't hear me, do you? It ain't always the deaf angel. Sometimes it's God's messenger saying, I need to leave a message for y'all. And I'm going to use him to get the message across. I'm going to use him. What if some of y'all going to wake up? I'm going to use him. What if some of y'all are going to turn away from your wicked ways? I'm going to use him. Whether he's going to give you an understanding that tomorrow is not promised, but God's promises are always... Always. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you alone, but I'm got happy now. But I want you to know something, Dion. Through God, may not always answer our why questions. He listens to them and responds wisely to them. See, you're not the only one that asks why. Mm -mm -mm. Moses asked, Lord. Why have you brought trouble to this people? Why? He asked why Moses. Gideon asked, when then has all of this happened to us? Why? See, that's that question right there. You got Gideon's question. Why has this happened to us? Naomi said, Lord, I went out full, but the Lord has brought me back home again empty. I know you feel a little empty right now, but that's all right. He's going to feel it. Job said, why have you set me as your target? Why have... Huh? Why not? God know what you'll do. He already know the plan. He know what you're going to do. He know how you're going to do it. He know the love that you have lost. And I'm telling you something. Why not us? Well, because it's going to bring light to darkness. David said, Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from you? Because in times like this, we think God is far off, but God is actually standing right there. It's your flesh that won't let you see that God ain't left you. Y'all don't hear me. Because let me tell you something. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Y'all know him. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadows of death. I will fear no evil. So he don't have no more pain, no more fear, no more trouble. It's gone. It's gone. So I got to go home now. I got to leave y'all alone. But I want you to know one last thing, dear uncle. There's a greater why than your why. There's a greater why. If you don't think God don't understand what you're going through, family, God knows better because there was a greater why. Because Jesus gave himself on the cross, and Jesus said unto his father, 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 I'm hanging here on the cross. Why? Have thou forsaken me? Right. Jesus asked, why? After praying in the garden all night, he still asked, why? After knowing that he was born, the son of God, he still said, why? 
Y'all don't hear me. Even though he had healed the blind and gave the lame the ability to walk, Jesus still said, why? When he met Lazarus at the grave and his good friend was dead, he still said, why? Y'all don't hear me. When my mama left this world, I said, why? When daddy left this world, I said, why? When Terry left this world, I said, why? When Mary left this world, I said, why? And the reason we ask why is we don't understand it from a God point of view. We understand it from a human point of view. See, to God, what he just went through was a promotion. Lamarcus got elevated. Y'all don't hear me. He was released from the burdens of earth. Y'all don't hear me. He got an early furlough from the battle zone. Y'all don't hear me. I wish somebody heard me today. He relocated to a better climate. Y'all don't hear me. He don't have to worry about all of this going on because he's in a place that this ain't going on. His instant transportation was from an earthly area to a celestial area. Y'all. Lamarck, I'm trying to get to where you are. Don't be scared. If you're born again, if you've been washed, baptized, you know that death ain't nothing bad. Death is a tr- I got to transition out of this house with my bad hip, my high blood pressure, my loss of sight a little bit. I got to transition out of this white hat. I got to transition, y'all, out of being overweight. I got to transition out of all of my bills and all of my finances. I got to transition from fighting with hellhounds on a day-to-day basis. I got the transition of watching my back to see what's coming next. I got the transition. I got to leave here. He's going to take me out of here one day. And he's going to take this old world off of me. And he's going to put me in a... To be absent from this world is to be present with the Lord. So why do we cry? I'm going to go home now. Y'all got the kids. Why do we cry? Because when I leave here, I'm going to leave what I love behind. I'm going to leave the people I love behind. I'm going to have to leave y'all behind. When I transition, y'all, I got, I got to leave you behind. That's what's so painful is the leaving behind. What is it that makes man want to live forever? It's the people that love him and the people that he loves. That's what it is. Huh? So I'm telling you something. He does all things well. He this day, my soul is well. With the Lord, I'm hurting a little bit, but all is well. I'm looking uh, over yonder. Oh, I'm looking over yonder. A lot of people say, R.I.P., rest in peace. That's not my word, but I say, R.I.P., rest in paradise. Rest in paradise. Jesus said, I'm going to go home now. I go uh, to prepare a place for you. That where I am, you are. 
Start laying brick. Do you think Jesus left here and started to pour concrete and popping the wood when he spoke it? I go to prepare that place became real from the word because he was the word. Yes, he was. And when he spoke it, look at here, I got a mansion. So don't don't. I got to go now. Don't, don't say goodbye. At the church, at the academy, when we have worked all day and we're walking out because we've closed up. Where my Olivia yet? What we say? In a minute. In a minute. Lamarck. In a minute. In a minute, in a minute, in a Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow's grace, and he leads me beside the quiet streams. He restores my failing hand. And it helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. Safe in his arms. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow's grace. 
and he leads me beside the quiet streams. He restores my failing head, and he helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm saved. That's why I'm saved. That's why I'm saved. Saved in his arms. And when the storm of life is red and the billow. close of this chapter such that we can begin a new chapter in a new life. Father, we just want to come and just offer thanks to you, a praise of thanksgiving. Just thank you, God, for being who you are. Thank you, God, for comforting this family this mother, this father, sisters, brothers, and cousins, everyone that is a part of this family, thank you. You know, God, we so oftentimes just beg you for everything. But today, we want to thank you for everything. Because you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our honor. And so 